Hello and welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Elke Jan Wiersma, also known as EJ. And today I have a blooming update for the month of February. And there are quite a lot, so I'm going to start straight off. <laughs> and I'm going to start in this corner. This one is about to bloom. It's opening up, as you can see. One of the Puffy Up Pedlums. I do not have a name for this one. But nonetheless, it's beautiful. And then this fairly big white one next to it is still in bloom. And yeah, it's a cross with the white lady. I, st I still have this tag, but uh, it's not the exact white lady, but that's one of the parents for this one, I believe. And then we have the Pinocchio Alba, which has two beautiful blooms. So those are over here. Then let's go over here because somewhere in here are still some blooms left. Also a no ID of this one, but also very beautiful, very nice balloons. And then down here we have this fairly large one. Let me uh, go over to this way. A very long spike, as you can see, it's stop heavy. With these beautiful big blooms, the yellow and red blooms, absolutely beautiful. I really enjoy this one. And next to it is that new orchid, still uh, nicely blooming. Beautiful colors on that one. And then we have this one over here. Let me zoom in. Still some fresh blooms, but it's starting to go over now. But it had a good, uh, good blooming season this year. My Ludicias in the back. Both varieties are blooming. Next to those we have this Sturbik from the Incas. Also a favorite. Yeah, all of them are favorites, but this one I really uh, enjoy growing as well. Beautiful blooms. Then up here, it's only one bloom, but still. This is the Bialara Gothic, over here. See, it's next to my Peggy Root Carpenter, of course. <laughs> Took me a little while to remember the name, but that is this one. These are going over now as well, but been in bloom for quite a while. So uh, that's to be expected, of course. Then here we have this big one. My say red, also starting to bloom. I have three spikes in total on this one, but beautiful dark red colors on this one. Then here, well, this one is going over. This is the Colmenara Wildcat. But here in the back, we have the Piperea. On City in Piperea. Also very nice blooms. This one I have for years and years. And it blooms once a year, but every single year it blooms for me. We have another spike coming here. And then this is the Alba version. Well, it's going over now, as you can see, these are the last blooms, but a new spike is coming as well. Then we have well, a few twinkles left blooms, but I did an update on them. That will be the next video. And this yellow one is still in bloom, so I will have a close up on those uh, as a next video. I did pre film it obviously, but because of the end of the month, I first thought I need to do the bloom blooming update, otherwise, it will be too late again. And then we have this one. This is the this is the Uncle Stella Eye Candy Pinky. I saw this one on Bespotted Arcades her channel, and she confirmed that this one is the Eye Candy. And another viewer, I'm sorry I don't remember the, your name, your channel name on top of my head, but so thank you so much for helping me out on this one. Very nice spike. And then you guys, we have something special. This one is so incredibly beautiful. 
I uh, often uh, refer to my uh, Orchids de Blooms as pieces of art, but if that would be true, then this would be absolutely a masterpiece. So beautiful. And this is called something Hawaiian Nights. Let me check. Aliciara Hawaiian Nights. And that is this bloom. It's absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, this for me is an absolutely must have. One of the favorites on the channel with quite some viewers as well, but I completely understand why. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Then over here, we still have some blooms left on Roslia Exantina. Beautiful as well. F very nice large blooms. Let me uh, put my hand, my fingers next to it. So not that small. Looking good. So yeah, that is over in this corner. Quite some blooms over here. Then let's go down here because here we have a Masdevelia in bloom, the yellow one. There's another bloom there in the back, as you can see. And also this one. There's also some spikes coming. So we will have some more blooms. This is called Black Velvet. I would expect a darker bloom with that name, but it came with a, a name tag. Must have value black velvet, so it's probably correct. I'm not completely sure. Then these are over, almost over. Not only abscesses, but <laughs> look at these two beauties. So yes, in April, I believe I will have a whole year round not only abscess blooms. It, uh, yeah, it, it's going to happen. I'm pretty sure it will. But look at this one. This is the Princess Diana. My oldest and biggest Miltoniopsis. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And next to it, we have this one. Also very, very beautiful. And beautiful fragrance on both of them. And then we have this one over here. Starting to bloom. So yeah, this looks very wonderful, this corner, I believe. <laughs> and then we have this beautiful uh, red one still blooming as well. With some aphids on it. Yes, I need to spray it. But yeah, beautiful little red blooms there. Then over here, well, it's trying to open up for us. Her, uh, her Alexander. So that will be a better update for the next uh, blooming update. Sorry for the background noise. Whoops. And still some uh, blooms. Quite nice on the Lacaste. The white one, especially this one. And let me check the tag. Skinnery Eye Alba. Here she is. Very nice. And then I have a name for this one. <laughs> the next one, Sergio Ara Yoko Shuka Story. Thanks to uh, Hillbilly Arcad, that is this one. It's a cross with a Kid Leia type free spirit and Rene Marquez. And yeah, I really see the Rene Marquez in it because I have it hanging in front of it. There it is. That's the Rene Marquez. So you can see the resemblance on these two, or on that one, I should say. Absolutely beautiful. Let me back off a little bit so you can see. Quite some blooms there, looking very good. Then this Epidendrum, still in bloom. It's blooming longer than normal, so it, I think it likes it up here. Normally, the blooms did fade quite quickly, but this time it's doing better. Beautiful, beautiful hybrids here. And then we have here the Vanda with two spikes. Absolutely stunning, this one. Beautiful. Well, these are going over now, but still some sort of blooms here. <laughs> this yellow Vanda. 
let me have a look. I have here the small orchid with a very long name. We have some newer blooms there, a bit older over here. Well, this is actually just opening up, but this is the Young Min Golden Boy. And there's something on there that's not a thrip, but something else. <laughs> but very beautiful blooms. And then I even have one bloom left on my golden peacock. Here, the rest didn't open. But still, we have a bloom. Down here, this is a even a Gera apple blossom. It had thrips on there, but yeah, I think we will have some blooms. So we can do an update later on. This is the pink one, and my golden elf has thrips, as you can see. And it's going over now, but yeah, they always get the nice ones, don't they? So yeah, they look horrible, but I did spray them. And then you guys, <laughs> the fail wall. So yeah, soon I will do an update, but there's still uh, quite some spikes that need to open up. But yeah, just a quick, uh, quick overview. <laughs> Look at the beautiful blooms, the variety. Look at these guys just opening up. Bronze Maiden. And this beautiful yellow one. And then this pink one with the very, very large blooms. That's the more regular one. Darker pink one there, but this one is the giant. <laughs> Some more blooms. Beautiful yellow ones. Sogo, mainly Sogo is this, yes. And we do have the Cupid opening up and the Mini Mark, yes, there it is. <laughs> Over here, this beauty here and look at this one. Very, very nice, very nice. That's Indian Summer. The last one was called Indian Summer. Let's go over here because my nobly types are starting to open up. This is the rainbow something, rain, rainbow, uh, rainbow dance. That is this one. Oh, look, that one is better. Absolutely beautiful. That one is starting opening up. Quite some blooms. This is still blooming nicely for us. It's always the first one to open up. The Spring Dream Apollo. That is this one. Then down here, whoops, there we have the Berry Oda. Also still blooming. Doing her best. <laughs> Got some spikes. Very nice honey fragrance. Fairly strong, this one. And then, yeah, the name is not correct. Um, Michael McCarthy helped me with the name, but I need to change, still change it. But we have some blooms on this one. And then next to it, we have this no nobly type. Look at that. Quite some blooms. I'm very, very happy with the amount of blooms. And the tag is facing the other way around. So if you really want to know the name, please let me know. I, I can't remember on top of my head. And next to it, this is a new one. This is the first time I'm blooming it myself. Fairly large blooms. I did remember them, didn't remember them that this big, actually. Pretty nice, we have even more here. Well, the sun is coming out, which is beautiful. Whoops. I'm almost knocking things over. <laughs> But it's a little bit hard to film then. <laughs> yeah, I really like that dark center, the dark center in the lip, the purple color. This is... Here we go. That is that one. And then we have here my Prima Donna huh? starting to open up. Not completely yet, as you can see, but... Yeah, beautiful fragrance in this corner as well. And this one I knocked almost over. <laughs> it's already so top heavy. 
This is my finest alba. I mean, look at this. The amount of blooms. This was the one that I gifted myself. We even have some buds still to open up for my 1K viewers. So it's actually a uh, thanks to you guys that I have this one. <laughs> Like I didn't buy, buy it out of way anyways, but anyhow, <laughs> look at those colors. Absolutely stunning. It's such a large spike. You can see the leaning because of stop heavy. I really need to stake this one, I believe. Try not to stake my plants if I don't have to, but this one, because we still have some buds to open up, it probably will uh, fall over. But yeah, it, uh, I love it. These colors are so beautiful. Then we have this spectacular cross over here, which I did an update on as my last video, as a request. But nonetheless, it's still beautiful. The colors are changing a little bit. Maybe you noticed it, but... Then the Takanaga family, the Roy and Nora. This is Roy. <laughs> Looking stunning next to probably Nora. There we go. And I hope you can see also the amount, especially on the Nora. We have quite some blooms over here. Absolutely beautiful. And then still some Fenleopsis types in bloom. This is the blue happiness and next to the purple happiness. Look at that beautiful, strong purple. So you can see both of them. And this is the called uh, Fell Candy. That is this one. Look at that. One bloom left. <laughs> this one, but still. And then I don't have a name for it. This one. Some more pink one. So those are living over here. And uh, let's have a look. Yeah, we have some blooms left here. This is my green parrot. I hope you can see it. The Bratonia green parrot. This is the oldest spike. Really beautiful shaped blooms, but we have another spike there. And a new one is about to open up there in the back. So soon I will turn this around. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful, beautiful blooms. Yeah, I think it looks great. Then over here, oh, we have even some looms on this one. So I have no idea. And some aphids, I did spray it. Oops, there goes a bud. Yeah, that happens, especially around this time. Not necessarily only the aphids, but also it's cooling down there. I'm at the border at night, what I like. I have it 18 degrees, but hmm. It's not really what they want. They really like it a little bit warmer, but yeah, that's not what I can give them. This, these are going over now. This is the Verona. I think also Bratonia. I'm completely sure, but Verona. That is that one. And then in this corner, there are some that making some Miltonia, so we will have some Miltonia blooms soon, but not yet. But we do have these beauties and there are even more. I'm not sure if you remembered it or if you even saw the last video, Blooming Update. Where is that leaf that's in the way? Here it is, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at that. Quite some blooms actually on this one. Look at that little cluster over here. I think they are stunning. Maxillaria. Sorry, I do forget the name. This is a Maxillaria. I did get this as, as a gift from Inse Orchids. Maxillaria um, variabilis yellow. So yeah, that one is doing well. And then I have still some blooms left on this one. My first Maxillaria. Absolutely. Xantina. Let's give you the whole name. <laughs> and I love the moss that is growing on that net pot. But yeah, beautiful blooms, beautiful blooms. 
so yeah i need to put this in you guys it's technically not an orchid but you can see it's so beautiful and normally i don't film this that often but look it has two clumps of blooms do you recognize it it's a hoya it's the shooting star absolutely beautiful and i saw this on the orchids by the lake Josie's channel and then i tried to buy it to find it and i did so that was the last year i think when i have years ago something like that but yeah it's doing fine and the blooms are so stunning so i thought you know what i'm just going to put them in and such a suitable sh suitable <laughs> suitable name shooting star absolutely beautiful it i believe i always I at least have the tendency to forget a few and you will have some subidiums but as you can see not open yet not open yet so yeah and i soon i will do another video on the fails uh, this year i'm a little bit later or those the plants are a little bit later than uh, than the previous year but we have quite some uh, blooms uh, to come so that will be another good uh, video i believe oh uh, yeah we have this one here this is a new plant that i bought so these are not technically my blooms and a beautiful mini fail and some blooms on the keikis of the Barriona. So that is, well, <laughs> it is opening up. Yay. Look at that. The Ancelia Africana. Look at that spike. Very strong. We do have more spikes. And the other one next to it has also a spike there in the back. I'm not sure if you can see it this is the first to open up so yeah we have a few blooms <laughs> beautiful 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 and well yeah this telumnia i did forget it's almost going over you see you guys always forget something i apologize i hope you don't mind <laughs> i think <laughs> almost afraid to say it but i think i did cover them all so thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this uh, blooming update i personally do i love looking at the beautiful blooms of course so and of course if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below if you like please give this a video a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, yeah of course i really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos thank you so much bye bye